Hello and welcome to my channel. You may have noticed that the Amazon Fire menu button does not function outside of the Amazon product line. That is because Google didn't include it in their firmware updates. So we're going to have to go in, dissect it manually. But don't worry, it's easy as one, two, three. The button that I'm actually referring to is this one and this one. Both of these are Bluetooth remotes and they will connect to any Android device as long as it's the first generation. Right now we're going to go into Solid Explorer. I think this is a better one now because ES File Explorer is now loaded with bloat software unless you're using the pro version. Okay, so right now we're going to go into the root. And we're going to scroll down to system, user, key layouts. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's like the fourth one from the bottom. It's going to be the vendor 1949 product 0401. And you want to click on it. When you click on it, you want to open it up with the text editor of your, the one that you're using. If you're using EX File Explorer, it's going to see the ES right here, uh, text editor. And you also see a different logo of the ES File Explorer. You can also choose always. So as you notice that it's not here, we have the back button, the home button, and right here between this and the media rewind, we want to add in the other button. So on this one, we can just automatically start typing and we're good to go. If you're using ES File Explorer, you want to go in the top right corner, click here, and you'll see edit. Because if you don't do that, you won't be able to edit the file. But on Solid Explorer, you can just immediately start typing. So we want to add in key 139, because that is the button code. And we want to add in menu, all caps. And that is it. Um, other than you want to save it and you're done. You got a check mark, granted, done. If you're in ES File Explorer, you can just click this um, arrow and when you click it, you'll get a box that comes up. When you get the box that comes up, you want to just click save. Yes. To choose yes. But on this one, you just click the save button and you're good to go. And if you want to double check, once you exit out, you can just click back on it and you should still see it there and which it is. Once you do that, restart your system, test it, and you should be good to go. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and definitely, definitely check out more of my videos. Check out my website, nvidiatvnews.com.